Hey guys, it's Connor here, and I just thought I'd take some time out of my day to finally continue the Connor Life Crippling Depression series. So today, I will be doing Batman 1989, starring Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson, directed by fucking what's his face, one of the most famous directors of all time, Tim Burton. Batman 1989 is arguably the first film that does the Dark Knight justice. This film opens with a jarring score that is possibly one of the most iconic character themes of all time. Danny Elfman was definitely the right person to orchestrate this soundtrack. Right off the bat, pun intended, it's easy to see that this is a much darker depiction of the Batman mythos than represented in previous films and cartoons. The visuals are dark and gothic, the score is powerful, and overall the movie takes itself quite seriously. For me personally, this is a good thing because I believe that the character of Batman is a tragic hero and should be written darkly. I mean, this guy literally had his Martha and his dad killed right in front of him. Martha, why did you say that name? Oh, stop! Please, stop! Why did you say that name? Michael Keaton does a decent job as Batman. It was definitely an odd casting, but aside from the looks, he seems to fit the role okay. One complaint I have with him is that he's not physically intimidating at all and he's practically immobile, although that's probably due to the fact that this movie is nearly 30 years old. I also kinda wish that the suit was grey and black and yellow, but that's just me. My other complaint is that I'm not fond of the whole Batman killing people thing. I get that that was part of the comics from the Golden Age, but the no killing rule adds an interesting element to the character of Batman and it affects his relationships in an interesting way. What are you? I'm Batman. The real show stealer here is Jack Nicholson as the Joker. He practically was the Joker already, this casting was absolutely perfect. This isn't my favorite live action Joker, that being Heath Ledger, but I do enjoy his performance probably more than Mr. Leto's, God bless his soul. I'm an idea, uh, and I thought my jokes were bad. The overall plot of this movie is simple but well executed. To quickly summarize it, Bruce Wayne is Batman, this dude named Jack falls into a pit and becomes the Joker. <laughs> what I have to work with here. <laughs> the Joker then takes over the mob and tries to kill a bunch of people with hair products because Joker, and then Batman finds the Joker and then eventually beats the shit out of the Joker. There's also a couple of moderately boring subplots and a love interest that I don't really feel like talking much about. Vicky Vale was an okay character, but nothing special to me, and that's really all I've got to say about that. And the whole Joker killing Batman's parents thing seemed kind of forced, but whatever. You killed my parents. What? Huh. <laughs> what are you talking about? Overall, this is a really decent movie with neat gothic visuals, one of the best scores of all time, and a fantastic villain. It's definitely a Batman film that you should check out if you haven't already. But yeah, hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully next week I'll be suffering from crippling depression.